I want to show you the cover of today's I newspaper. So there's been these devastating wildfires um, that have absolutely wreaked havoc in the small town of Mati, the northeast of Athens. Um, the first I had heard of this was actually from that newspaper headline. I hadn't seen the news today, so I, I didn't know about this. But it sounds awful. Um, at least 80 people have died. Um, and it's by far the worst um, wildfire scene in Greece since at least 2007 and maybe the worst ever. But what I found particularly shocking was the possibility that these fires have been deliberately started. Because although wildfires happen quite regularly, Greece is obviously a hot country. It's a hot, dry country. I've been there twice. Um, for them to happen so spontaneously suggests that there is foul play at hand. And if that is true, I have no words. I, I cannot even begin to register how despicable that would be. Apparently, the Greek government has requested US drones um, because they're suspicious that these might have been um, deliberately started on the grounds that arsonists would want to loot abandoned homes. Now, to me, that's inhuman. I think that anyone with a mindset to force people out of their homes so they could steal people's valuables are evil. They are beyond evil. As far as I'm concerned, that is as bad as terrorism. It really is. If this is the case, it's a damning indictment of human nature, but it's, I, I hope the people responsible are caught and provided it is proven, i.e. they are definitely responsible, they should serve many, many, many years behind bars. And quite honestly, I would not blame people who had lost a home or relatives to look at vigilantism. I really wouldn't because th this is just, it's not unheard of. Um, in the Black Saturday bushfires in Australia in 2009, those were also devastating. Over 200 people died. Um, it was perceived that some of those had also been, unless I'm mistaken, in that case, it was the claim of arson. It's happened in California. It, it's it's evil. I think arson is one of the most despicable crimes because it isn't just a material damage that can make people homeless and destroy uh, their valuables. Um, and that, by the way, isn't just practical things. It could also be sentimental values. But more importantly, it's the destruction of human life and serious injuries. That is, it's mass murder. If that's the case, if it's not the case, it's also tragic, but it's it, it takes away that aspect to it. Um, according to this report, there's been some very sad things have happened. The official death toll is at 74, but it could um, that could rise to well over 100. Um, the bodies of 26 victims were found huddled together after taking taking a wrong turn while fleeing. Ten holiday makers drowned when their rescue boat capsized, while Coast Guard and volunteers saved hundreds of lives. Uh, among those killed was a Polish woman and her son. Three days of national mourning have been declared for an unspeakable tragedy. We found burned cars of people inside. It's a disaster, an absolute disaster, according to one of the rescuers. Um, I recall the devastating wildfires in Portugal last year. Um, over 70 people died in those. And this is coming in the backdrop of a worldwide um, heat wave. Um, a lot of countries are experiencing record heat waves. Um, in the UK, we've had the hot summer on record in many places. Um, and the wildfires in Northern England, which is almost unheard of. I mean, you just don't think of Northern England having scenes like California. Um, firefighters have been drafted in from all over the country to deal with wildfires on Saddleworth Moor and elsewhere outside Manchester. They've apparently been beating the ground to get rid of the oxygen. Um, in Algeria, record temperatures were set and record temperatures for the whole of Africa. Um, there's also been deadly heat waves in Japan. At least 65 people have died. Thousands have been hospitalised. Canada, at least 70 have died. So there is definitely um, something going on worldwide with this.
at the moment there is no um you know no arsonists have been caught and i probably should emphasize that um i think it could be a case that some of these are natural wildfires but there may well be people who are kind of escalating them to take advantage of that and like i say if that is the case i hope it's not but if it is the case that is no words can sum up what i think of such people um i can call them animals but that's an insult to animals um but I think it's one of the most evil crimes. I really do. Arson is, it's up there with terrorism as far as I'm concerned. It could be seen as a form of terrorism, except it's criminal as opposed to political. Um, I'll leave it there. There isn't really much more to say, but my, my thoughts are with the people of Greece and all those caught up in this tragedy. Many tourists have lost their lives as well. It's it's awful. Um, and it's happened so suddenly. It's... it's um, it's really sad. Um, so we'll leave it there. Thanks for watching.